Whoa! <laughs> Can you do jazz hands like we did jazz hands? Because we are in the second week of our series, What Can You Do? We just heard it. No, we don't. Yeah, Let's just keep rolling. So, uh, what, what comes what next? What can we do? What can we do? Jazz hands is what we can do. That's right. That's right. I'm Gabrielle. And I'm Jared. And this is Kids TV. And as Jared <laughs> so kindly told us, right. it is our second week of our series, What Can You Do? I can do can jazz do? hands with a t twos on my fingers. And to, you know, continue talking about <laughs> That's right. our series. Which is what we will do. I want to ask you what's the coolest thing you did, or a cool thing you did as a kid. Oh. Uh, one cool thing that I did, my brother and I both did it actually. We were at the Portland Beavers game. There's a, they were a semi-pro baseball team. Mm -hmm. We got chosen to go down onto the field. He started at third base, I started at first, and the first person to run and reach the other base first wins. Pretty I have no cool. idea who won, but I got to do it. That's cool. I think we both got like a t-shirt or a bag of popcorn In or something. In front of like the whole stadium. Yeah, yeah. The That's whole cool. the whole thing. That's pretty cool. It was fun. When I was a little kid, my best friend, her name was Emily, and we went to Alpine Slides, which is oh. up on Mount Hood, and it's these cool like little carts that you ride down the hill in the summer when there's no snow on the mountain. Mm -hmm. And on the other side of the park, they had this huge bungee jumping thing where you like walked up a tall tower. Whoa. It was like over a hundred feet tall. And then you like held on to a big bag and you just walked off the side you of the- You just held on to a bag? I mean, you had a rope on, obviously. So you were, you were, you were, you were bungee jumping. You were strapped in. Yeah, you were strapped in, okay. but I remember <laughs> the saying- It wasn't just, hope you can hold on <laughs> <while> strong enough. <laughs> I remember the saying like, hold on to the bag. And I was like, I just, all I have to do is hold on to the bag. Don't let go or else. <laughs> I think the bag was like to prevent you from like drinking. Oh, okay, but, and then you like bungee jumped off this thing and it was really cool. And oh. you landed on a giant like inflatable thing. Like a giant Wait. inflatable pad. You landed on the thing, but well, after you... you bounced a little bit. Okay, got it. Yeah, it was nice. pretty cool. I liked it. Yeah, did that as a kid. You can do cool stuff as a kid. Yeah, you don't have to wait, which is awesome. But speaking of things that we can do, I think we can play a game. Oh, because it's I think game we time. Can. That's right. All right, again, I urge you to learn of how to construct the most devious consequence. Again, it's not about the worst flavor, not always. Sometimes it's about what the mind can handle. And what the mind can't handle is putting someone else's gum in their mouth. So I'm gonna chew up some gum, and I'm gonna spit it in this bowl, and she's gonna have to eat it. Well, she doesn't have to like eat it and swallow it, of course. But she wants to put it in her mouth and chew it for a little bit. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> It's shaped like a backwards J for Jarrett. Just imagine you were looking at it in a mirror. And that's it. All right. Well, it's time for my consequence. And I uh, think I'm gonna go for a pickle sandwich. So we'll get these. I don't have a fork, so he's getting finger pickles. And we're gonna do, ooh, actually, I'm gonna call it Gabrielle Sushi. This is what we're gonna do. Ooh, decision. All right, sweet pickle sushi. So, first a layer of cinnamon, then hot sauce. Or, no, this is a chocolate sauce. Don't know what I'm doing, or thinking. Then a little bit of sprinkles. I 
and then top it off with some gum. It's like a rock hard gum. It's very, I almost need to like smush it a little bit. It'd be like better if I could chew it, but that'd be really gross. Okay, now it's like better to roll. Oh, it's kind of breaking, but that's all right. All right, small but mighty. Oh, she's falling apart. And of course, one dips sushi in soy sauce. So, just a little bit. All right, that's it. Christ is my firm foundation The rock on which I stand When everything around me is shaking I've never been more glad That I put my faith in Jesus He never let me down He's faithful I've still got joy in chaos I've got peace that makes no sense So I won't be going under I'm not held by my own strength Cause I built my life on Jesus
Welcome back to our series, What Can I Do? Mm -hmm. We are learning that even though we are young, we can do a lot. Mm -hmm. We know this because God made us that way and knows all about what we can do. Did you guys know that when I was a kid, I really wanted to be an interior designer, which is basically someone that decorates the inside of homes? Well, eventually that dream changed, and when I went to college, I decided I wanted to be a nurse. Mm -hmm. Nurses and other medical professionals like doctors, therapists, and paramedics have very important jobs. Mm -hmm. They help take care of us when we are sick or hurt. Because of that, they need to know a lot about how bodies work. Mm -hmm. They spend years in school studying and practicing, and then they spend more years after school studying and practicing with other medical professionals. When we go to the doctors now, it can seem like they know more about our own bodies than we oh, even yeah. do. And not only do they know a lot about how the body works, they also have these records about us specifically. Like if you ever broke your arm, there's a record that your doctor can look at that says you broke your arm. Or if you had surgery or got really sick, they also know how tall you are, what eye color you have, and what kind of shots you've had. That's a lot of information. Yeah. But even the best medical professionals out there won't know everything there is to know about you. Mm -mm. There is someone who does know everything about you, though, which brings us to your story. I have a story I really want to share with you from the Bible. It's a great story, and we'll tell you all about it. But first, I want you to read it yourselves. Pause this video and read John chapter 1, verses 43 through 51 as a class. In that story, we saw Jesus start to gather his disciples or followers, um, and eventually Jesus would pick 12 men to follow him. Uh, the two we met in this story are Philip and Nathaniel. Philip was first, and then Jesus walked up to Philip and said, follow me, and Philip did. In fact, he was so excited that he had met the long-awaited Messiah. So what did he do? He ran to tell Nathaniel about it. But Nathaniel didn't believe him at first. Jesus was from a town called Nazareth, and it didn't have a very good reputation. He thought Jesus was just some guy from Nazareth. How could he be the Messiah? Mm -hmm. Nathaniel even says, can anything good come from Nazareth? But Philip knew better, so he urged him to come and see for himself. Mm -hmm. When Nathaniel met Jesus, he found out that Jesus already knew him very well, like really, really well. Mm -hmm. Jesus already knew that Nathaniel was an honest guy. This was before they had ever even met. Nathaniel was surprised that Jesus seemed to know him, and he knew at once that Jesus was definitely not just an ordinary person. He could only be the Son of God and the one everybody had been waiting for. Mm -hmm. Nathaniel was able to trust Jesus because he saw that Jesus really knew and understood him. Eric, if I gave you a gift card for Target, that would be pretty nice, right? Yeah, that'd be really nice. But if I gave you a bottle of hot sauce, how would you feel? Like you knew me, mm -hmm. like you're really, like, yeah, yeah because I, I feel like you really know me. Yeah. Because I love hot sauce, and yes, so too. getting it as a gift would show me that you really care enough about me and the things that I really like. Mm -hmm. I would enjoy the gift card, Morgan, but something unique to me is more special. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When someone remembers something about you, it mm -hmm. makes you feel special. Yeah. When they give you a gift that is really specific to who you are, it makes you feel seen and understood. Being known by people makes us feel loved. There are a lot of people in our lives that know us and know things about us. Our family members, our friends, our teachers, they all know us, but they don't know everything about us, mm. except for Jesus. Just like Nathaniel, Jesus knows everything about you before you ever knew anything about him. We can trust that Jesus knows us. That fact was one of the reasons that Nathaniel wanted to follow Jesus. Jesus really knew who Nathaniel was, and it made him feel cared for and loved. There's nothing we can hide from him because he already knows the good, the bad, and everything in between. Mm -hmm. And guess what? He loves us anyways. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that drew people like Philip, Nathaniel, and countless others like you and me to Jesus. It's not just that Jesus knows these facts about us. But he uses that knowledge to show that he understands us and loves us. Because of that, I can trust that Jesus knows me best. Yeah.
Well. Uh, what time is it? Do you know? <laughs> it's that special time. <laughs> the consequence time. The big reveal. <laughs> all right. What? You go first. All right. All right. I'll go first. So, uh, this week I made Gabrielle's super <laughs> special sweet sushi. A lot of S's. Yeah. So. Super special sweet sushi. Four. Um, I made you a sushi roll. It's falling apart slightly. Uh, oh, you just <laughs> had some spillage. A little bit. That's all right. Spillage um, village. It'll come out. So in here, in the, the, the dip, this is the dipping sauce on the side of the roll. Um, is a pickle sushi roll wow. with sprinkles, cinnamon, hot chocolate sauce, and gum on the in the middle. Wow. So. It looks like space. Something really terrible from space. <laughs> I don't know. Alien gunk. Alien. I don't know. <laughs> Just something bad from space. <laughs> I think it's kind of pretty. I don't want to touch it because it's messy. Well, I <laughs> have chewed gum. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Your chewed gum. I chewed up three pieces of double bubble. That's a triple double, some might say. That's a basketball term. Uh, and I chewed up three pieces of gum <laughs> and spit it into a bowl. Honestly, just thinking about that makes me want to throw up. I feel that. That that, that <laughs> yeah. might mean I win. It, it might, but <clears throat> we'll just see what in they case vote. you don't, I think we should vote. We should vote. Because there is, I mean, this sushi looks like it has to be eaten. It's just so cute. Yeah. Little, little bowl gum on the middle. Space. Dread. There you go. All right, well, it's your turn to vote. If you think that Jarrett wins, go ahead and raise your hand. All right, put him up. That looks pretty convincing. And if you think Gabrielle wins, raise your hand. All right, so judge who officially wins. <sighs> Woo! Second week in a row and Sorry, oh. Space Sushi. Sorry, Vomit buddy. Vomit something. I think you should try it anyway. Mm. Ooh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> also, it's a J. Did you do that on purpose? Yeah, but it's a backwards J. Yeah, true. You just gotta like look at it in the mirror. You have glasses, so kinda. <laughs> That's not actually how glasses work. <laughs> yeah, but, but kinda. If you like go this oh. way. Ooh. <laughs> oh, she did it. She did it. Oh, it's so wet <laughs> and slimy. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that was so gross. That was so gross. I couldn't do it a second longer. <laughs> uh, I'll try the sushi if you try the sushi. All right, why not at this point? All right. I don't think we're gonna get that bubble gum out of there. Nah, you get the bubble gum. Uh, I just had. Uh, what? I don't think I want any more bubble gum. But I got the rest. No, you got to take the bubble gum. I do. I do. Nah. This is voluntary. It is voluntary. But I'll do it. <laughs> wow, that's a dark piece of pickle there at the bottom. The dark pickle. It's like Darth Vader, but. Cheers. A Dink. pickle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little bit. Hey. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh. Oh, anything. Anything else. <laughs> no, nah, nah, nah. nah, it's getting worse. Can we just out of your face? <laughs> oh. <laughs> but it cleanses the gum uh, from my mouth. You need some of this? <laughs> ah. Well. Wow. Mm. We did it. But you still <laughs> had to do the gum. <laughs> Okay. That's all right. We all ended on a note together. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much <laughs> for joining See, us we, today. Well, well, actually, this is a great example because we said we could do it, and we did it. We did and that's do what, it. And that's what we can do. <laughs> we can do we it. We can eat space sushi. pickle sushi. <laughs> all right. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you guys later. See you next time. <laughs>